So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. Keep spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Richmond, Virginia. In fact, it takes us to the state capitol building. Quite lovely indeed. But if Froditor thinks he knows more than the state capitol police and presses his luck just a little too far and gets a nice pair of shiny handcuffs, enjoy! Yes, sir. I've got uh, a big copy of the regulations of Capitol Square for you. Okay. And I can send you a link too for the permitting process, but you can't be right here. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to ask you to do is I'm going to give you one chance to uh, to leave. Okay. Uh, if you refuse, you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Okay. So I am leaving under duress, under the threat of trespass, of the violation of my civil rights to leave this public forum, which was established no, right here. Forum. It is a public Capitol forum. Square. Now we just heard the officer say, I'm going to give you one chance to leave, but the frauditor wants to stand there and debate the subject. What do you think is going to happen? It is a so public is forum. To, to I am going to now. leave. I am going to leave under the threat of arrest. Okay. Violation. And, and go ahead and give me your name and badge number, sir. Uh, First Sergeant Mulheim. Badge number, sir. It, it, it doesn't really matter, but unit 10. Unit 10, and you, sir? Off the right, 2.9. Okay, and this is Capitol Police. Thank you very yep. much. Now, where where am I permitted to be? On the other side of Broad Street. Okay, what about that public on road the, right there? Nope, on the other side of 14th Street. Uh-huh. Now, remember, the officer said that he had to leave, and he agreed under threat of arrest that he was going to leave, yet he still remains and runs his mouth. Uh, on the other side of Main Street uh, and on areas on 9th Street that aren't in front of uh, any of the uh, state-owned uh, properties. That's not what's reported publicly. I've already been in areas with Capitol Police allowing me to be. In fact, your assistant chief allowed me to be here Wednesday. Okay. What was he mistaken about? Uh, well, we're, we've got uh, DGS regulations, which I, which I told you I would forward to you if, if you'd like. Mm -hmm. What was your cap? What was your assistant chief mistaken right, so you, about? You can leave now. I was trying to provide you the information. Well, here you go, idiot. The officer is giving you another chance to leave, but will you take advantage of it? Absolutely not. Well, if I leave, you and I can't have this conversation. Well, I'm, I'm asking right for. Now. I was trying to help you out with the information, but you just want to argue. So, are you uh, on you drugs, sir? Uh, Why are you shaking? It's cold out here, sir. Why you are you leave shaking? Now, sir. I'm you leaving. Can, you can leave now. under the threat of arrest. Okay. You are go. going to arrest me, right? If I stay? Yes. You are going to arrest yes. me. Okay. Yep. At this point, the moron is walking backwards slowly to be sure to capture the officers as he exits the property. However, he doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry to exit the property, does he? So what was your assistant chief mistaken about? I don't know what your conversation was with our assistant chief, but I'm asking you he, to leave. He entertained me over there, okay. right next to that memorial, and he was fine with me being there. Okay, sir, well, right now I'm He's on YouTube, and, and it was fine to be there Wednesday, but okay. today is not, huh? I've never watched any videos from this frauditor, but I can tell from this very short exposure that he has a cocky attitude and he's a real smart ass.
Only under the threat of arrest. Now, let me ask you, if I am arrested... I'm not having any more conversation. You're either leaving or getting arrested. If I am arrested, where will I be taken? To the Richmond uh, Justice Center. Okay. And then they will drop the charges after I'm booked in there, and they'll just let it go, and then you'll have me off the property for a few hours. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and just leave out of here because I'll be taken out of here if I don't leave on my own accord. The police officers are giving you every chance to leave, Frauditor. How many more chances do you think that they will give you before you are finally arrested? I can tell you this, none. You want to watch start watching where you're where you're going so you don't trip over things you're not responsible for my public safety my personal I'm safety trying to help you out so you don't fall so, your head so where are the signs that say you can't be here where are they dzs.virginia.gov no no where are the signs that say the public is not allowed in here you're either leaving or getting arrested where are the signs there are no signs keep on going and and how far right past this gate here uh nope all the way across broad street no sir yep Frauditor, you just don't know when to shut your mouth. Now that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Arrest me. Okay. Take me. Trying to get it together no, so that we can get the handcuffs on. You're being an asshole. You're being an asshole. You're going to send me out one in custody, trespassing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go double lock. Do what? Double lock. Oh, okay. And, 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 and he threw my phone on the ground there so hard that the pen came out of it. I want to make sure I don't lose my pen and my phone. Thank you for recording. Make sure it's video yeah, on yeah, YouTube. We will. Okay. All right. I'm arrested. Okay. For being in a public forum. They threw my phone on the ground on the cement. I set it on the ground. No, sir. you threw it and the pen came out okay. of the phone with such force you threw it. Well, there you have it, folks. If you play games with the police long enough, you will surely win the grand prize of arrest and maybe a couple nights in jail. How lovely indeed. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.